Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about Summer 24 new feature for admin. So if you are new in this channel, so please subscribe the channel. Also, you can turn on the bell icon for more updates. So you never will miss any kind of update from my side. So before starting this video, please watch this video until end because it's have a new feature. So you have to learn this all feature without any, you know, skip any part of this video. So let's get started without any further delay. So first feature is here. When adding a new field, you can now easily add it to the old dynamic form enabled record pages. So this is the screenshot here you can see. Whenever you create any new field inside your object, it may be like custom or standard, doesn't matter. So you will be see this option like one another step that is add to dynamic form enabled record pages, this option. So this option you will be seen in our org. How to show that? Let me show you here. So let me open my org and let's see this first feature. So now I just logged into my org. So just click on this object manager. Open any object as you have. So let me click on this account and uh, field and relationship. Under field and relationship, you can create new field. And once you click on new field, now you can select any data type, let's say number, click on the next. And please observe, we have like uh, five steps, right? So here you can give any name as you want. So let's say here, like the PR number, something like that. Okay. And click on the next. And once you clicked on the next, now you will be see another things here. That is uh, field level security. I already enabled it. So just click on the next. Now fourth step will be see the new feature regarding this dynamic form. So this is the another feature you have to remember it. So this one. So this is the new feature, right? So you can see this all. Okay. So that is very most important if you are working as an admin part. So you have to consider this feature. So this is the first feature. Now let's see the next feature is next feature is set component visibility. And based on the visibility, we can display the tabs or tabs group based on this condition. Okay. So how we can see these things regarding this component set visibility inside the lightning record page, app builder page, something like that. Okay. So let's see into the org. So let me open any record page. So let's say I want to open my sales application. So just click on the sales application here. And once you clicked on this sales application, click on the account. Let me open any account as we have. This is the account record here and click on this gear icon. Click on this edit page. And once you click on this edit page, now you can see here, uh, this is the lightning record page, right? And we can set the component visibility. So now you, here you can see the tabs. So once you click on this highlighted panel, this one, okay. So you can see the page and tabs and we have details related and news, right? So these three tabs and another option that is set component visibility, right? So here, just click on this one, like add filter. Once you click on this add filter, you can hide and so based on your need. Let's say record field device. This is a form factor. You can use it like for desktop, phone, mobile, something like that. Add ons, you can add the field based on your requirement. So that is another another feature to hide and so these tabs. Okay. So you can use it as you want. This is the new, another feature in summer 24. So let's see the next feature is blank space on a lightning record page so how we can add it so first of all you have to open any record page as you have and click on this field option and then you can see here in the field component blank space you can just drag and drop this blank space into the lightning record page and uh, record page as you have so just drag and drop that uh, blank space here basically it is used for you know like alignment of the uh, fields let's say you have like five fields and uh, two I need like four fields in sequence and five fields also be sequence. So you can give one space between them and you can use it. That is very most important in, uh, you know, requirement in uh, any requirement as you have. Okay. So this is another feature. Here. How we can see that in our org. So let me open my org. Under this org, you can see this is a lightning record page as we have. And click on this field option. Once you click on the field option, you can see the blank space. Just drag and drop anywhere as you want. Let's say here. And you can see some space between uh, this uh, account owner and rating. You can see the some space. 
so you can give some space as you want otherwise leave it as it is so this is another option okay let's see the next feature is like permission set and permission set group view summary button that is most important and very clear explanation about this permission set and permission set group so under the quick find you have to search like permission set and permission set group and then you will see this kind of you know environment or that is ui that is most important under the permission set information you can see related permission set group user permission object permission field permission custom permission and all things like api name license created by modify everything and session activation everything you can see in this page so how we can see that let me open my org and just go back here leave it under the quick find you have to search like permission set first and then we will see the permission set group so just click on this get icon setup and here under this quick find you have to search like permission set like permission permission set click on this permission set if you have like permission set, well and good otherwise you can create your own permission set as well right so just here this is the permission set click on account pv because i already created one permission set so once you clicked on this permission set inside this permission set you will receive one button that is view summary just click on this view summary and once you clicked on this view summary immediately you can see the new ui that is very clear hence and very useful and very explanation ui you can use it very helpful right so this is the permission set under the permission set we have like related permission set group user permission object permissions and uh, you know field permissions and uh, custom permission if you have like some like object permission you definitely you can see the object permission like read create edit delete view all modify all everything same field permission as well here you can see this one read axis edit axis label and field ABI name right that is very clear in right also you can change your object name here you can close it and you can search like object name if you have like multiple permission set or multiple object have the one permission set also you can search from here as well right so this is another feature just click on this permission set group this same ui you will be see inside this permission set group as well so here this is a permission set group click op open this permission set group as you have so i have a, this permission set group and click on this view summary same thing you will be see this under this permission set here you can see ui everything like uh, include permission set user permissions right object permission here you can see the object permission everything right field permissions and custom permission this is the new ui okay so let's see the next feature is introduce a new automation lightning app and that lightning app very useful for the flows if you have like flows and don't want to open any flows view history and view version like before that you can check out this automation lightning app and you can easily identify which flow is activated which flow is deactivated which flow is have error something like that you can track it in single page that is automation lightning app so before using this automation lightning app you cannot use this lightning app directly here you have to enable one setting that is under the process automation setting you have to enable that one i will show you here in my org so let's see in the org quick find you have to search like process automation setting so just click on this process automation setting come down now you can see one setting here that is enable automation lightning app so you have to enable it after that you can use it before this one you cannot use it so here you have to search like flows just click on these flows and once you clicked on the flows immediately you can see each and every flows here that is list view here like all flows error flow recently view 45 view everything based on your need you can create your own list view as well and based on the flow name let's say this flow let's say read write flow this is a draft flow cancel activated everything you can track it from here no need worry about like every time you have to open each and every version and you can activate deactivate or delete something like that you can do these things inside within the page here you can open latest version change owner delete open flow something like that. you can also open the flow let's say i want to open this flow so just click on this open a flow or it's open the flow canvas flow builder and under this flow builder you can modify your flow you can debug your flow based on your need you can use okay this is another phase okay so let's see the next feature is 
user access summary user access also get a summary button and based on the user we can easily identify all permissions have this user or not so under the queue file you have to search like user then user you can see the ui clear ui very clear ui you can see a very readable form user access summary same thing user permission object permission field permission custom permission pump public group membership queue membership each and every things you can see in the same page so let's see in the our so just click on this uh, gear icon this one click on the setup once you clicked on the setup just you have to search like user under the user just click on this user you can open the uh, number of user as you have in your all let me open my all, all user name so this is my username under the username you can see the view summary button just click on this view summary and immediately you can see the neat and clear ui here and and user easily identify this is an active or inactive user profile everything licenses role modify by username alias last login and also user su summary that is very most important section like user permission you can see the user permissions each and everything here object permission also you can see here right like alert everything you can see like read create edit delete view all and modify all click on field permission also you can see like read write axis for the field permission also you can change the field here there are so many fields regarding this object so once you click the object permission you can see the object permission here right and uh, public group if you have some public group so definitely it will be available here queue membership if you have so it will be available here so this is another feature very useful feature right so let's see the next feature is public group access summary so we already discussed about the you know permission set group permission set same thing you will be see this kind of you know public group setting so let's see in the oh so first of all you have to search like public group and then you can see the public group is enable or disable and these all option like uh, owner base sharing rule criteria based sharing rule report dashboard folder included in public group list view so let's see so now in the org just click on this public group and once you click on public group i have already created one public group you can create it based on your need so here this is a another one so just click on view summary and once you click on this view summary immediately you can see that this is enabled and owner base sharing if you have a like owner base sharing so now you can just do one thing under the account you can change the you know object here as well this is another lookup and based on the object you can use it and criteria base rule report and dashboard include the public group list view everything you can see in a single page very useful feature right so let's see the next feature is field history tracking that is very most important also under the quick find you have to search like field history tracking then you can see this ui so let's see in the or you find you have to search like field history tracking like field history tracking this is the option just click on this field history tracking and once you clicked on this field history tracking now you can see the neat and clear ui right so you can so only the tracked object if you have you can search also the you know object and these all object available here and pagination like previous next view tracking fields you can also track the view tracking fields here once you click on that option that view tracking very neat and clean way right each and everything like tracked object case have this kind of fields tracked everything you can see in a single page just click on the back here you can see the object so we have the object like account once you click on this view button you can see here in the right panel uh, account and cancel save just you have to click on enable account history and here you can see the field if you have already enable it like say type you can change it here and click on the save and this is the field history tracking of this uh, type field and successfully here right this is another option you can click on this only track object if you have like track object and number of track field you also you can count in a single page like uh, one ten case have ten fields um, account have only one field order have like 17 field contact have 18 fields so once you click on this one immediately you will be see this 18 fields here in the contact contract so just click on the view immediately you can see the 18 fields so this is old and new value and track changes only special for for this one that is very useful feature so you can use it based on your need
so these all about like summer 24 new feature for the admin so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us and you already have some idea about it little bit i hope and also you can subscribe my channel and also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side also please keep in touch i will update lots of video regarding the new releases so please keep in touch so till then bye bye take care see ya see you again bye bye